to move on to my nature trip. I'm excited to bring you guys along. Stunning. I'm in full holiday mode. I'm already losing track of the days. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Hi, welcome to the family. My name is Ella. I'm 26 and I live in Adelaide with my husband and our beautiful Cocker Spaniel puppy Mabel, who we are missing so much right now. We are in Tasmania for a week. We just got here on Monday night. We arrived like 8.30 at night checked into our hotel we stayed in Hobart for the first night just because we got in so late and then yesterday we traveled up towards the east coast we went through Richmond and Swansea that was in my last vlog and now we're here in Bishano it is so beautiful here I woke up to the sound of the waves and the ocean we haven't really explored this area much because we basically got here checked into our Airbnb chilled out for like an hour went for dinner and then went for a penguin tour last night so we haven't really explored area and we're actually probably not going to either until later this afternoon because this morning we are up bright and early i don't know if it's coming off on camera but i am so tired right now we went to sleep okay but then in the middle of the night like three from like three to five i was up for like two hours wide awake i think because i was in a new environment so i really really did not sleep that well i ended up just editing so i could do something with my time which probably kept me up even longer but we got the vlog edited and yeah we've woken up in Bishano to the beautiful sounds of the waves i think the beach is like right there we saw penguins last night which is absolutely incredible if you are traveling to tasmania and you're doing the east coast i really recommend doing the Bishano penguin tour it was amazing we got like right up close to them and the work that they're doing out there and just like learning about them was super interesting so I'm really glad we did that. But yeah, today we're up bright and early because we're heading to Coles Bay. We're going on the Wine Glass Bay cruise this morning. It starts at 9.30, I think from 9.30 to like 2.30. So it's like a big chunk of the day. But this is something that I sell quite often as a travel agent. If you are new here, I do work as a travel agent part-time. And God, my morning voice is extreme this morning. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's something I sell quite often and I've never experienced it for myself. So I actually reached out to them to see if they did agent rates and they did. So we got a really good deal. We're doing the cruise with lunch included. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm hoping it's not too rough out there. <laughs> I don't know if that's just wishful thinking, but I do get really bad seasickness. So love that. Love that for me. It's meant to be incredible though. I've heard nothing but good things. And we still have so much Tasmania in my job. Like that's such a huge destination it's actually been so nice to be here and see everything i feel like i've already learned so much i've been to tasmania before but not for ages probably like 10 years ago i came here with my family coming back here as an adult and really experiencing it for myself i feel like i have so many little tidbits of advice and information already and it's only been a day <laughs> day two of our tasmania trip i'm excited to bring you guys along i'm gonna finish getting ready quickly um and then we're gonna head out i'll have all the information as well about our itinerary and where we stayed airbnbs things that we did and then i'm gonna do a whole wrap up at the end of these vlogs i'm not sure how many vlogs there'll be it depends how much footage i get i think there might be like one or two tasmania vlogs but i'll do a wrap up of exactly what we spent like a full breakdown for anyone that is also planning a trip because i know there's a lot of you guys i've had so many messages from you guys saying i want to go to tasmania or i'm planning a trip to tasmania like can you please give all the dates so i will be sharing that at the end of the vlogs as well but yeah I need to finish getting ready because we have to be on the road very shortly. I do want to say I have been missing Mabel so much. Both of us have. That's like all we can talk about. I don't know how we ever live without her, to be honest. You guys don't know. Mabel is our Cocker Spaniel. She is only four and a bit, four and a bit months old. So she's still a little boy boy. And it was so sad saying goodbye. She's in very capable hands. She's having the time of her life with my parents. And they have a Cocker Spaniel. My dad actually sent me the cutest photo of them last night. I'll show you guys. Show us. What are you wearing? I'm just wearing a jumper. From Rod and Gun. From Rod and Gun. Chinos from French Connection. And Reebok kicks. With... <laughs> the 
cricket socks. Yeah. Yep. You know me. Then from my feet, I'm wearing the black puffa from Cotton On that I showed in my last vlog. My hoodie is from Princess Polly. My new discount code is LXO if you guys want to use it. Pants are the Archer pants in the slate color, and then I just have on my hoovers. Let's go. just got home from our wine glass bay cruise so good 10 out of 10 recommend i'm so glad i experienced it for myself so then when i'm talking about it with clients i can know what i'm talking about like to actually experience something is um always a bonus i feel like you can really sell it a lot easier when you've done it yourself we just saw some stuff we really did we saw an albatross didn't even know what an albatross was but we saw many albatross which apparently doesn't happen all that often so that was really cool lots of tuna out there seals on the cliff face which is amazing and even just like just all of the scenery and everything was incredible and then we anchored in wine glass bay to have our lunch and it was like the most beautiful sandy white beach greeny bluey water it was unreal so i really recommend if you're coming to the east coast of tasmania i would recommend doing but it is now four o'clock we just stopped and got a coffee on our way back from food and brew i have my vlog that i need to edit so I can get that up. I have a call tomorrow morning that I need to prep for. Just, you know, business girl things. <laughs> Not really. The grind doesn't stop though. I feel like when you're on a holiday, this is prime time to be getting content because it's like different stuff other than everyday life. So obviously I want to be vlogging. And to be honest, I just haven't really timed things well with different brand deals and content and planning ahead so it's on me but i love it so much it doesn't really feel like work do you know what i mean like i love editing i love vlogging i love bringing you guys along so it doesn't feel like a job at all but yeah i have a bunch of editing to do tonight not sure what we're gonna do in terms of dinner sorry the sun just disappeared i think we're gonna maybe get like fish and chips or head to the pub or something just like quick and easy we were thinking about cooking because there is a, a beautiful kitchen here but you know what we're on holiday and I don't really feel like cooking. Maybe tomorrow we'll cook. I don't know. I don't know. Because we're only here for a week and we're traveling around to different places. I feel like we have limited time to try different cuisine and different places. I'm like, may as well make the most of that. We could cook. But are we going to cook? No. So, yeah. Need to decide what we're going to have for dinner. I'm going to finish my coffee. Since the sun is still out and it's only like 4 o'clock, I think we're going to go for a little beach walk. I think I mentioned this morning we're really, really close to the beach. I think like a two-minute walk. So... I feel like it'd be rude not to go down and explore. It will be hard without Mabel Moo. I will say when we stopped by Swansea yesterday, which was in my last vlog, we we're both just saying like Mabel would love this. And I don't know who we've become, but we are like dog obsessed. We cannot stop thinking about her. We're like, oh my God, those little baby seals that we saw on the cruise reminds us of Mabel. <laughs> if this is what it's like having a dog of our own, imagine when we have children. I don't think I want to know. I don't want to know. It's too much. I just love her so much. She's literally the light of my life. She's having the best time with my parents. I'll show you guys. My dad sent me this photo last night. <laughs> Look at her. It actually looks like she's smiling. Look at that. She's all cuddled up to Lily. Stop it right now. And they have never cuddled up until this moment. This is her with the automatic mop. What is it, mop? What is it? <laughs> oh i just miss her so much we've been thinking about her we can't wait to see her but we're also really enjoying a holiday and just having some time together but um yeah that's the update that nobody asked for i'm gonna get changed into some leggings now and put on some sneaks and then we're gonna go for a little walkie loo a walkie loo Stunning. We 
just got done having some brekkie. We went to Governor, I think it was called, in Bishano. Absolute legend. The guy was so funny. Yeah, he <laughs> so a legend. Nice. And the best toasty was so good. Yeah. But yeah, we've had a very relaxed morning. It's almost 11 o'clock. Um, we like truly slept in for the first time all holiday. Well, I say slept in. Wait, what time did you wake up? I woke up at quarter past eight. It was like 7.30 for me. It's but not too bad. I got some editing done. My video is nearly ready to go live tonight, which is good. And I had a call this morning. And then we quickly, it was like almost 10 o'clock, we had to check out. We like quickly ran around like... Speed check out. Speed check out. It was, yeah, two headless shooks. Now we're back on the road. The road trip continues. We're going to head to Launceston today, which I hear into a cute little cottage tonight. Is it Launceston or Launceston? I think it depends on where you're from. I want to say like the, the locals. Well, we'll have to find out. Yeah. TBD. <laughs> Let's go. What are your first impressions of Lord Sester? Yeah, very nice. It's very English. Yeah, that's and like the biggest takeaway of this Tasmania. It is so far, and that we really. <laughs> Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? Good morning you guys, happy Friday We are just checking out of our Airbnb in Evandale. We stayed here for just one night. I didn't vlog anything yesterday when we arrived and now we're leaving, but I thought I'd give you guys a little overview. It's so cute in here. It's called Peg's Cottage and it's in Evandale just outside of Launceston. The host is so lovely. They came and bought us eggs and jam and bread and oats. So sweet. There's this cute little kitchenette, beds, little fireplace down there, which was so nice last night. And then this side is the shower. Nice. And then over here is the toilet and sink. So cute. It's real cottagey vibes. We just stopped at a place called Bread and Butter. Another recommendation from one of you guys. Really coming through with the Tassie Rex this trip and they have not disappointed. We got a chocolate croissant and a morning bun to share. The morning bun especially was so good and the coffee was really good. And now we're fueled up. We've come to Cataract Gorge, which I feel like is an iconic thing to do in Launceston. So we're gonna walk around here for the next little bit and then slowly make our way back down to Hobart where we'll be based for the remainder of our trip. We'll be doing little day trips out to like Bruny Island and Port Arthur um, and exploring around Hobart, but we'll be yeah based there for the rest of our trip, which is crazy. It's already nearly coming to an end. It was like a two and a half hour drive to Hobart, I believe. But we're gonna make a couple of pit stops on the way. You yeah, know, we like to break up the drive a little. You okay? Yeah, we're good. I got three hours of parking for three dollars. Steal. <laughs> reading or something? I don't know. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, this is the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nitty rooty. That'll be me. This is so cute. Wow. I love that bathtub. That's got Instagram photo written yeah. all over it. Oh, and I. 
Đây nè Okay. <gasps> Easy access. Beautiful. Wow, this is so cute. It's so nicely done. Yeah, it's really lovely. How's the bed? Oh, it feels Flop really test. Nice. Go on. After two and a half hours of traveling. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Happy Saturday. Finally nailing the days. It's only taken me all week. It's Saturday morning. We have had such a lovely time. It's not even in the morning anymore, is it? It's like almost it's one like o'clock. We got up bright and early and went to the Salamanca markets, which are like iconic thing to do here Terrific. in Hobart. We basically planned our whole trip around being here for the Saturday. Otherwise we would have done Hobart as soon as we arrived, but our flights were on a Monday and we knew we wanted to be here for the Salamanca markets. So that's why we did our trip the way we did. And they did not disappoint, so good. It was really fun, just like walk around for a couple hours. And then we went to this beautiful cafe called Sisterhood in Sandy Bay. It was honestly probably one of the best brunches I've had in a long time. It was pretty up there and that's coming from a, a brunch queen. I got the chicken katsu waffle, so good. And a red velvet latte, just for something a bit fun, a bit different. Incredible. I love trying like new drinks. Incredible. But the raspberry latte at the raspberry cafe yesterday. That was excellent. That was really good. And now, We've come to Mona, the museum of new and is it old no and new old, art? old and new art, and we're going to see some vaginas, I think, which I'm very excited. <laughs> we had to pre-book our tickets uh, for one o'clock, so we're here a little bit early, but hopefully we can get in. I need a wee as well. Yeah, me too. Oh, cheers. So cool. I'm really Very sore at all. Vaginas, the digestive system. The digestive More vaginas. <laughs> so many cool tunnels. It's very trippy. You it know, is trippy. Go with it. Really messes with your senses. I'd really recommend. How long did that take us? Like a couple of hours? Yeah, I think a bit over two hours. Sunday and hello from the ferry. I don't know if you can tell. We're on the ferry on our way to Bruni Island today. It's just an island just outside of Hobart. It literally took us like half an hour from Hobart to get to. Oh my god, are we moving? Yeah. We're moving. Um, yeah, from Hobart to Kettering, which is where the ferry terminal is. I think it's like a 20 minute ferry over here to Bruni Island and we're on our way. We just started moving. How fun. I don't know if we wow. started. I don't think we're moving yet. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Look at us. We're moving fast. We've got some pace. I'm excited. I'm excited to see Bruni Island. This is something I sell quite a lot of with my travel agent job. People are either wanting to come here or wanting to book. If they're going to Tasmania, they want to go to Bruni Island nine times out of ten. So I'm excited to experience it for ourselves. We have seriously lucked out with the most beautiful weather the whole time we've been here, I feel like. I don't know if it's normally like this in Tasmania. I feel like it's not, but it has been blue skies and sunny the entire time pretty much that we've been here, apart from the first day. It's cold, but I wouldn't say it's any more cold than Adelaide, to be honest. 
Yeah. I think the coldest is, is slightly cooler, like, in the evenings, but, like, you're inside. Mm. You know? You know but I think we don't really go out in the cold <laughs> in Adelaide. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, we're not really out at, at night. But yeah. we are because we're on holiday. You're not going out for dinner on Wednesday. Evenings. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, think about when we go for a walk in the mornings. Like, that's pretty cold. Mm. But we have Mabel to keep us company. I know. We get to see Mabel tomorrow. We're so excited. We still have, obviously, full day here and full day tomorrow. We don't arrive back in Adelaide till like, 10.30. But we will be picking Mabel up as soon as we get home. I've already ran to it with my parents. I'm like, sorry, guys. No best for the wicked. We have to see her. I just miss her so much. I really didn't think I would. Well, I knew I would miss her, but I didn't realize I would miss her so much. I'm like, how are we ever gonna go to Europe for like a month? I don't think I can leave her. I really can't. How are you feeling? What have been your highlights and lowlights of Tasmania so I've far? I've had no lowlights. No lowlights? Yeah. My lowlight would be missing Mabel Moo, but clearly I love her more. Highlight? The penguins. Oh, that feels like a lifetime ago. That was Tuesday. I know. We were saying this the other day. Like, it feels like we've done so much in such a short amount of time, and we have. It almost feels like two separate trips. It's simultaneously been like the shortest, quickest trip ever. Like, it's gone by so fast, but it's also not. Like, I feel like we've been here forever. We've done so much in such a short amount of time. And I think for such a essentially small state, there's so much to see and do, and so many like differences. Do you know what I mean? Like between the East Coast compared to Hobart and like mm. Launceston and I don't know, just different areas that we've stopped and they all just feel so different. They have such a different feel about them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I will say it does remind me a lot of the UK here. 100%, like yeah. big UK vibes. That's like the first thing I said was no one wrong the yeah. streets. Yeah. What about the people? Some of them have been a bit grumpy, to be honest. Yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of really lovely people. I know I have a lot of um, Tasmanian followers. Mm -hmm. I'm so sure. So take this with a pinch of salt. But we have had some of the like grumpiest, most miserable service In ever. Hospitality, yeah. Although last night the restaurant they were really oh No, they no, were front of house. Front of house was lovely. Good. The dude was weird. The dude was not friendly. What do you want? Like even when we ordered coffee, I don't know. And even when we went for a walk this morning, because we went for a walk along the beach and grabbed a coffee. I feel like in Adelaide, everyone's like, good morning, like, g'day, whatever. I don't know if, I don't know. But no one cracked a smile. We were like, nothing, got nothing back. And yeah, just some of the service we've had has been so rude. I don't know if it, it's just the cold, everyone's over winter here, or I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed is like people are pretty, Maybe they're just sick of tourists. <laughs> Honestly, I would be too. But then there have been some really nice people, like um, Ambitiono, the Toasty Man oh, was really lovely. Ben the Toasty Man. Go ben, ben the Toasty the Man. The Penguin Tours were really nice. All the people yeah. on that were really nice. Also Ambitiono. Wine Glass Bay Cruise, really good service. They were lovely. It's more been the like hospitality. See with that information what you will, but I was not expecting that. Not that I feel like in Adelaide anyone, anyone is particularly friendly. Maybe we just take it for granted. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we've just been really unlucky. Maybe it's us. Maybe we're the problem. <laughs> Good morning, you guys, and happy Monday. It's our final morning here in Tasmania. Well, we're gonna see Mabel too. It's very bittersweet, yeah. It's been like the best trip, but we're also very excited to get home and see Mabel Moo and our family and just get back to <laughs> routine. Why are you laughing? Just mostly Mabel Moo. I don't know much about families. <laughs> 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 but it is. Almost 10 o'clock, we're just about to check out and go get some breakfast before we head on the road. We still have a full day here. I'm gonna sign the little guest book. We've been staying at the Latrell, I think I mentioned. It is so beautiful here, especially on a morning like this with like all the beautiful natural light seeping through. It's literally like out of a movie. Yeah. It is so pretty. It's like a cottage. 
little cottage, a little beach shack. Nick's cleaning up his crumbs, lovely. Oh, what should we say? Thanks. Thank you. We are both really sad to be leaving this beautiful home. It's been the most amazing couple of days. This is the longest we've stayed in Airbnb this trip. We spent three nights here. Um, and it's been the perfect base for exploring around Hobart. We went to Bruno Island yesterday, as you guys saw, which was stunning. It's like, no videos or photos will ever do that place justice. Like, all of Tasmania, really. It's just beautiful. Most beautiful landscapes. And yeah, today is our last day here. We don't fly out until like 8, almost 9 o'clock tonight. So, we still have a full day here. Um, I think we're going to head to... Well, I say I think we are going to head to Port Arthur. I have such vivid memories of going there even 10 years ago with my family it was like one of my favorite parts of the trip i don't know if favorites a good word necessarily to use because it does have quite a horrible history obviously the actual setting is so idyllic i remember like surrounded by water and it was just so pretty like the surrounds were so pretty but then there was like this horrible history and then of course the 1996 um massacre that took place there which was the catalyst for australia introducing gun laws and a big part of australian history and like such a sad sad thing so i actually think i might end off this vlog here just because i don't think i'll really be doing much vlogging around port arthur honestly it's not really much to capture it would just be like old stuff to be honest do you want to come end the vlog with me Certainly. end of the tazzy vlog i'm not gonna vlog poor arthur just because i feel like disrespectful i don't know if it's disrespectful it's just like probably not that interesting yeah it's you know like it's, it's more of a in, in you gotta read stuff yeah. and like experience it and really feel it but I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along for our Tassie trip. I feel like I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like I've done a pretty good job of vlogging this trip more than I would normally. Anything to say? Just, Any final words? Just a, what, a, what a time. What a time. What a time to be alive. Any um, hot tips or like your favorite things about Tassie? Just do all the stuff that we did. <laughs> Follow our itinerary. I'll have everything <laughs> in the description box where we stayed, where we ate. All of that will be down below if you are planning your own Tassie trip. But yeah, it's been amazing. I'm really sad to say goodbye to this Airbnb, to be honest. Yeah. Do you see what I wrote in the guest book? I didn't. I'll look at it. Anyway. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I love you. I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.